Hello everyone, welcome to the Countryside and Conservation Tour at Sparsholt College here. Uh, my name is Dave Locke, I'm the Curriculum Lead for Land and Wildlife which incorporates game, uh, fisheries and countryside and conservation. Uh, countryside and conservation courses have been running here at the college now for getting on for 35-40 years. Uh, they are designed to train the next generation of countryside rangers, uh, wildlife officers, ecologists and uh, Sparshaw, just to mention before we start, in terms of industry uh, there are countryside rangers and ecologists working all over the country that trained here at Sparshaw. Uh, so our track record of getting people into employment is excellent. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the resources here. Um, we're very fortunate in that we've got an excellent example of an ancient woodland on site. So uh, just over in the distance there, uh, that ancient woodland has probably been there, well, for at least 400 years, but more likely for thousands of years. Uh, very, very rich in species. Um, it's actively managed, so we coppice the woods. Uh, we take the products that we cut out of the woods and we use them to, uh, for other conservation projects like river management work. Uh, but also greenwood crafts to make things with the, with the product that comes out of the woods. So we're very fortunate to have some excellent habitats on site. Our ancient woodland, uh, we've got flower rich meadows here at Sparshaw, which are excellent for pollinators and other insects, and that all feeds up the food chain. So uh, we like slightly messy, scrubby countryside. Uh, in terms of countryside and conservation, all the little rough bits around the edges of the farm are excellent. So we've got some lovely hedgerows, uh, that are rich in flowers and berries, uh, excellent for birds. And just scanning around here, uh, this is one of the new areas that's been created. It's a wetland habitat. Um, and as you would imagine, it's brilliant for things like amphibians, for frogs, toads, newts. Um, and there's loads of species now here on the site that weren't here just maybe five to 10 years ago. So this is an excellent example using students uh, really, to, to create new areas on the college that are brilliant for wildlife. Um, and they're, in their future careers as countryside rangers, they're going to be managing areas like this. So um, we might start in the classroom quite often, but very quickly we'll be out on site learning outdoors in a vocational way. And of course, all of the maintenance of these areas is carried out by student practicals. So expect to get your hands dirty if you come to Sparshaw. Um, really, really important that you're not just somebody that knows a lot of information, but you, you're a doer as well, that you're, you're hands-on and you're practical and you're useful and employable. So, um, you know, we're very proud of the facilities here at Sparshaw, um, but for countryside and conservation, the facilities really, it is the habitats that are on the, the college estate. Um, and, uh, you know, we get a great deal of pleasure out of watching them develop and watching them get better. Um, and we've certainly got species here that we didn't have here 10 years ago. Okay, so the next part of our countryside and conservation tour takes us down to uh, an example of a habitat that's recently been created on the college estate. Um, the, the area of grass and down here has been created by students on the countryside course and it's been sown with a wildflower seed mix. Now, it's only quite a narrow strip, uh, but you can see that just in the space of about four or five years, uh, just by scraping back the soil, by distributing the seed, this was all done by hand, by students, um, you can see the results. Now one of the most important things uh, to consider for the health of wildlife in the United Kingdom at the moment is to have healthy populations of insects. So insects are key because they are the foundation of all of our ecosystems. So whether it's butterflies, there's a marbled white butterfly just here, or bees, other pollinating insects, uh, they play a vital role in supporting everything else above. So uh, if you haven't got any insects, then you won't have any birds, you won't have any mammals. You could also argue that we probably wouldn't be here ourselves. So creating little bits of habitat in an otherwise agricultural landscape like this is absolutely invaluable. Imagine what you could do if this was amplified on a much bigger scale. So if every farm in the country had areas put aside, taken out of production, and turned into habitats like this, then the results would be magnificent. And many farmers are. So many farmers are actively working in direct conjunction with conservation to create areas like this because they care. So farmers, land managers, they all need to work in 
uh, cohesively, uh, collectively to, to really achieve big scale uh, improvements or large scale improvements uh, for wildlife, for, uh, for, for, for some of these key species that would otherwise really be struggling. So I uh, just thought we'd come down and have a look at this because really it's quite miraculous. It's, it's, it's taken a fairly uninteresting, uh, simple ecosystem and turned it into something far more complex uh, and valuable for wildlife. So if you come to us at Sparsholt, um, many of our industry partners are, 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 are doing similar work out in the industry. So we work very closely with organisations like the National Trust, uh, with Butterfly Conservation, uh, the Wildlife Trusts, the RSPB. Um, and um, really, that's what we do. We're training people to go into work for those organisations as rangers, as wildlife managers. And again, this area is just another example of what can be created at fairly low cost and fairly quickly. Um, so I find it quite inspiring um, that, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. It's just putting back the basics you know, having healthy insect populations, having flowering plants and supporting everything else above. Okay, so to conclude our countryside and conservation uh, tour of the facilities, we're at the Game and Wildlife Centre. So the Game and Wildlife Centre was opened in 2011 um, and it's used by all of the land and wildlife students uh, across a whole range of courses. So if we go on in, we'll just have a look at what's inside the building. Um, so a very useful workspace, uh, the countryside students will use uh, this building to do chainsaw maintenance. So as part of their, certainly the level three courses, uh, chainsaws and tree felling is, is, a, is a component of the, the course. So the workbenches here with the vices are used for chainsaw maintenance. Um, there's also a fully equipped tool store. So really important to emphasize the practical aspects of the courses. So even though, uh, well, both at level two, level three, and even onto the degree courses, uh, we mentioned earlier about the importance of being a doer, about being able to be useful and have practical skills. So obviously with that comes the necessity to have all of the right equipment. So uh, we've got a very well resourced tool store. Um, and quite often, if you are a student on our courses, this is where you'll come first to get all of the materials and get the, the, the tools that you need to go out and do the job. And, and a lot of the practical jobs that are undertaken are carried out on sites uh, lo in, the, in the locality, so with, with partner organisations. So uh, Hampshire County Council Countryside Service, the National Trust, uh, Butterfly Conservation, uh, we do practical work on all of their sites. So it's really important that any practical work that we do is done to an excellent standard. So again, it just emphasises the importance of having the right tools for the job. Um, and then finally, we'll just go over to the other end of the uh, Game and Wildlife Centre. Uh, we've got our Greenwood Crafts area. Um, and this is really just a nice way of emphasising, you know, what do we do with a lot of the produce that we get from tree felling, uh, for instance. So imagine yourself as a student, you might go out on a Monday, you might bring down some ash trees uh, as part of uh, some woodland management operations but then that, pro that, that product is then used and utilised uh, to make other, other things, anything from fruit bowls to spoons to rounders, bats, um, but also the material can be used for other conservation projects as well. So um, charcoal production, for instance. So uh, the countryside students have been involved in making small amounts of charcoal. Uh, so yeah, it's just a nice example of sustainable woodland management as well, actually doing something with the product that you're uh, producing. So, you know, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming along on our tour. We've had a look at some of the outside facilities, so the interesting bits of the campus, the wildlife rich bits, and then we've finished up here just looking at one, one example of some of the excellent resources that we have at the Game and Wildlife Centre. So hopefully we'll see you soon. Um, keep in touch uh, with the college and uh, if you're thinking of applying then please do um, and we can guarantee that you're You'll have a great time while you're here with us.